First John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. So, so far, John has been talking about the antichrists. Not one person, but a plural, several antichrists. But he doesn't tell us who they are. But now he's uh, given us a clue as to who the Antichrist were. He says that they used to be with them. So that means that they were once members of the church. They belonged to the group of the believers, but had now departed from it. There are people who once followed Christ, but have now turned against him. The Antichrist, therefore, are not just people who just leave a church. When people leave your church, they don't become Antichrist. The people left Christ. So it is the leaving of Christ and turning against Christ that made them Antichrist, not just because they stopped going to a particular church or the other. And John just tells us here that there are people who can be among the group of believers. They go to church, they sing like everybody else, and they seem to be with the church. Sometimes they can even be pastors. And then uh, they depart and turn against everything that Christ stands for, live a life that is contrary to Christ, and turn people away from Christ. And he says that is the Antichrist. But then he also says the reason why they do that was because they were not originally of us. What does that mean? It means that they were going through the motions, but they didn't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is possible to go to church, to be in a church department, to be a pastor, to be, to be uh, known as a man of God, and still not be of Christ. That means you don't know him intimately in your heart as your Lord. Your life is not surrendered to him. And it is those who who turn away later and become enemies of the cross. Unfortunately, there are people who can still be in church, be called pastors or be called clergymen of the church, but have turned against Christ. In what way have they turned against Christ? Their words, their actions, their deeds, everything they do is so unchrist like that people who look at them turn away from Christ. So they then become uh, people who still belong to the group but have departed from Christ. So there are several antichrists uh, in the world and, and John warns us against them that we will be mindful that if anyone says he belongs to Christ but does not live for him, has turned away. It seems to be in church, but he's living for the pride of life. He's living for the lust of the flesh. He's living for the lust of the eyes. That person has turned away from the truth, has moved from the eternal to the temporary, and is now working against Christ. And we must all be mindful and careful that in our walk with the Lord, we don't get to the point where we become against Christ, anti-Christ or anti-Christ, where our lives are detracting people from Christ. May the Lord help each one of us to be good testimonies of him at home, in the office, wherever we find ourselves. The people watching us will see that of a truth. These are children of God, Christians, who belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I want to live for Christ and him alone. Help me to remain true to you till the end. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, that's the end of our study for this week. Tomorrow I start a new study, and I'll catch you again. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.